So we are today at the Assets for Life Academy, which is a year-long mentoring and masterminding and accountability program for property investors just like you, where we will hold your hand throughout the whole process from start to finish to ensure that you get great results. Today, I am interviewing Krishna in tonight's episode of Success Sunday. Krishna has gone from zero property development experience to building a commercial conversion business where he is making big lumps of cash. Krishna has got an amazing strategy where he is doing commercial conversions to serviced accommodation. This is going to be a great interview. Please make sure you tune in right now and also hit subscribe and the notification bell. And during the video, please like, share, and also comment. Okay, so I'm here now with Krishna, who is one of uh, my personal mentees. And it's brilliant to have you here today. Welcome to Success Sunday. Thank you, Liam. No yeah, problem. Great to be here. Thank Pleasure. You. And look, we're going to be talking about your journey in property over the last 12 months and you have been focusing on commercial conversions to serviced accommodation where you've been retaining the units. So talk us through Krishna, what is a commercial conversion? First of all, thank you so much uh, Liam, uh, my great mentor from SHS for Life. Uh, so for me, uh, com uh, what is commercial convergence is a, um, any property uh, that is either pub or mix, mix commercial with the shop downstairs and an uh, office upstairs. That's for me is a uh, commercial and I convert into the residential. Cool. So, pr is, so, so pretty much yeah. anything that's not residential, right? Yeah. And if you're thinking, well, what are commercial buildings? There's so much, isn't there, Krishna? You've got offices, pubs, clubs, warehouses, churches, nightclubs. You know, you name it. Anything that isn't residential is commercial. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, what you can do with a commercial unit, either with planning permission or using prior approval, you can convert that commercial premises into residential or you can do a bit of a mixed use. Exactly. It's an amazing strategy that I know has transformed your life over the last 12 months. So what were you doing Krishna before you met Assets for Life? Yeah, I was uh, kind of distracted um, in my property journey and uh, I was looking for a kind of uh, inspiration and a great mentor. And all of a sudden, uh, Paul Greg Smith, I met, he phoned me and then he mentioned about SS for Life. And uh, by that time, I already following Liam Ryan in the Facebook. And he mentioned, oh, Liam is, is great. And, uh, uh, and uh, he got a business partner, uh, Jay Munoz, who is in a, uh, in a commercial conversion background as well. So I thought, why not? So I went to see Liam and Jay and then uh, I really liked their attitude not only because they are expert in property but they are a great uh, a father as well because I, I got a two little kid and I really really uh, liked uh, how they became a how they are a great dad as well so that's how uh, they are not just a property mentor they are just great dads as well that's that's inspired me that's how I end up in a SS for life. Wow, brilliant. Yeah. So you joined us uh, you know, just over a year ago now, some, yeah. something along those lines, and you uh, have been part of what we call the Assets for Life Academy, which is our year-long mentoring and mastermind program, mm -hmm. where we meet up every month and you get introduced to mentors and we give you actions and really coach you through this whole process. Um, you've actually just reach the end of your first year with us now. Uh, so today is uh, your last Academy Day. Uh, of course, I know that you wanna stay with us, so we'll be talking to you about that as well. So what was your first deal while working with Assets for Life? Yeah, uh, my first deal was in Aldershot, uh, 84 Queens Road. Uh, it is a pub, a uh, white heart pub. And uh, I was going through the planning, uh, there was lots of issue. And while I 
spoke to my mentors, uh, especially Jay and Liam, and they gave me lots of advice. So finally, I completed that and then refinanced with the Paragon, and I used the um, a, a broker as well, um, the great broker, a very professional. And now I'm getting um, 2,200 per month cash flow with nice. that. And then the, uh, also my property looks uh, very elegant because of I'm using the service segment in there. And uh, I got uh, a great equity also there, yeah. Brilliant. So how much equity do you now have in that asset? Uh, around about 400,000. 400,000 pounds in equity. Yeah. You've been able to keep the asset in the portfolio. Mm -hmm. You're now using that as serviced accommodation, mm -hmm. and that's generating you about what twenty, about twenty-five thousand pounds a year net profit. Exactly, yeah. Exactly twenty-five thousand yeah, pounds yeah. a year net profit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so look, how did you find that commercial conversion deal? Uh, it is. Uh, uh, I already mentioned it, it's kind of like a really frustrating when you're on your own and uh, you have to answer lots of um, questions, uh, lots of things to your investors, and you are hitting here and there. But when you have a mentors, when you have a community like Assets for Life, then of, of course it's uh, more easy, and whenever I'm frustrated, I, I can uh, catch Liam or Jay, and, then, uh, and they are very generous as well. They invited into their office, uh, they give me extra um, sessions, and uh, whenever, I felt like I'm lost, I know where to go. You know where yeah, to come and find that's, that's us, the, yeah. That's the great thing, yeah. So, so the deal itself, did you find that direct to vendor or did you find that through an agent? Through an agent. Yeah. Through an agent, yeah. okay. So talk our viewers mm -hmm. through how you started to build up relationships with agents. Uh, it is... Uh, it is not an issue for me because it's, it's uh, very easy because um, once you do your due diligence and then when you talk to them with the conviction that you are going to buy that property, so they will understand uh, the, uh, your intention and then you also go with the full intention that you're going to buy that. So they will also look after you when you say, this is my offer, this is my deadline, I'm happy for things and they, they always like the... Uh, people who are uh, full in uh, yeah. rather than just checking. Well, they like to see you if you're professional, don't yes, they? Yes, yes. And I know that I taught you to go into agents, mm -hmm. be professional, yeah. go and introduce yourself. You know, this is what you need to do. Go and say hi, who you are, present your company, mm -hmm. um, have a chat with the agent about what sort of deals you're looking for, talk about the fact that you work with high net investors, um, give them your business card, and ultimately, in order to get agents to know you, like you, and trust you, you go on viewings. Exactly. And you do what's called ETH, which is known as earn the honor. And agents initially can be a bit hard to crack, but once you've been on a few viewings, once they understand you're the real deal, once you go and put in some offers, and you can show the agent that you are a professional property investor, all of a sudden they take you seriously. And you're exactly right. You put in your offer, it either gets accepted or it gets rejected. If it gets rejected, we can go on to another deal. Yep. And of course, if it gets accepted, then that's absolutely brilliant. So this deal got accepted for you. How long was the build process from start to finish? To be honest, uh, the build pro process was very quick. However, the planning process was quite long. Okay. So I completed uh, the building process uh, within six months time. Six months time. So only six months to yeah. convert it into two flats? Four flats. So four flats. Yeah. So uh, property in a pub, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so a pub into four flats. Mm. So that, that's very quick, six months. Yeah. Done, dusted. It's not like you're coming out the ground and doing a land development deal. Yeah. It's actually quite simple yes. when you get involved with commercial yeah. conversions. Yeah. This is what I love about developments. You do less, you earn more, and it's a relatively simple process. So what took you the... The longest period was the actual planning permission. Yeah. So how long did that take? And how did you get the planning permission through? Yeah. Okay, um, before I came to SS for Life, I tried to do myself and uh, I contacted local planning officer, uh, architect, and uh, you know, you are not that much uh, professional and then it, it's, 
you got that kind of stock uh, period. But once once you got recommended, um, the professionals which my mentors or my community used, and it's it's more um, there's a trust, there's a you know the conviction. So mm. I got it very quick. So mm -hmm. and then sometimes you just you just want more. I was I was holding on to getting six apartment, yeah. and then uh, when um, you said okay, go for it, and then. Uh, Four is okay. Four so is what you got. Yeah, yeah the number's okay. still stacked on yeah. four. Uh, so then sometimes you have to let go and then uh, just yeah. uh, go for another deal. Exactly. So yeah. That's what I did. Yeah. Yeah. Get, get, get what you can out the asset. Yeah. Sweat the asset as best as you can. Yeah. Um, make sure you make the profit yeah. and then just move on to another deal. Because exactly. you could have fought to go and get six units, yeah. but you may have been in the planning process another three or six or nine months, mm -hmm. holding yeah. your back backwards and forwards, mm -hmm. backwards and forwards. And here's the thing, with certain types of commercial buildings, you will need to go through planning permission. And certain types of commercial buildings, such as shops and barns um, and industrial type buildings, you can apply prior approval, uh, which is a much more simpler process. But as developers, we look at every opportunity, we look at every type of deal. If the deals stack, this is what we're looking for. Now, typically, Krishna, when you're doing your development deals, what do you look for on GDV? What profit margin do you aim to get as a percentage? Yeah, at least uh, 25%. 25%. Yeah. Okay, so remember that, ladies and gentlemen. 25% is where you need to be. And also, the funders, they're going to want to make sure the deal stacks at at least 20 if not 25%. Yeah. And it gives you a little bit of margin. Now, if the deal stacks at 20%, but it's good profit, then you'd probably do the deal as well. But obviously, typically, we always look at 25%. So that was your first deal. You've now refinanced. Mm -hmm. You've not refinanced yet, but you've got 400 grand in equity. Yeah. You are running it as a serviced accommodation. Talk us through your second commercial deal that you're now, because you're on fire, and you're now doing a second commercial conversion. Where is it? What is it and what are you turning it into? Okay, um, second one is not that far from Aldersot. It's in Farnborough, North Camp. Uh, uh, 65 to 67 leans for road. Um, it is a mixed uh, unit, shop and uh, office. And it was already a, a flat as well there. Okay. So what I did is I get planning on the shop okay. into two two bedroom flat which I already converted and, uh, and the great thing is I got the investor who invested on this project and now uh, again in the, in the in the same process uh, when I talked to um, my mentor I, I was I was happy this time for full flat <laughs> and then uh, Jay said oh my god you got a big flat here <laughs> why don't you t why don't you turn into two flat yeah. and I I'll just thought, oh my so God, two smaller flats yeah. uh, increases the GDP. Exactly. So just just by doing that, yeah. I got eighty thousand extra just by that advice. Wow. Yeah, so so one phone call with Jay, yeah. eighty thousand pounds on the bottom line. Yeah. Awesome. So on that one, what I did is, I already got a new flat on office, and then uh, the top flat, I'm signing one six now. Okay. So almost there. So I'm going to turn into five new flat wow. and turning into service accommodation again. Wow. And this one, I'm making very good profit, yeah. So what's the profit expected on your second ever commercial conversion? Uh, 450,000. Oh. oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh my goodness, 450,000 pounds, yeah? Look, um, you know, it's life-changing money. You know, it is, and, and this is the thing about property, you can go into a high cash flowing model like rent to rent or HMOs or serviced accommodation. What you're doing is you're going development into serviced accommodation so you get the best of both worlds. And here's the thing, you know, just one or two property deals like this will completely transform your life. And uh, you said you're a family man. So how many children do you have, Krishna? Yeah, two. You got two. And how old are you? Are they boys, girls? Boys, two boys. Two boys. Ten year old and a, a one year old, and okay. they they are my team as well. Wow, <laughs> yeah. So they're in yeah. your team. The yeah. ten year old and a one year old. Yes, yeah. Cool. And really, you know, that's your big why, isn't it? You know, yeah. building legacy for your kids and making sure that if anything ever happened to you, mm. you would 
leave something powerful to them um, to ultimately help them in their life as well. So big profit on that deal. What's been some of your challenges? Let's say your three biggest challenges mm -hmm. as a brand new developer over the last 12 months. So challenge number one, what is that? Yeah, there's uh, always a mindset issue. Uh, when you are as an entrepreneur, you will always see the loss of opportunities. And uh, when you haven't got the your accountability uh, community or mentor, then you want to sidetrack. Yeah. So I was a few times, I, I, I was nearly sidetracked to some different strategies within property and some other business ventures. Uh, that's the number one distraction. Yeah, so keeping focused on your primary strategy, because okay. it's very easy to then all of a sudden do rent to rent, mm -hmm. blue lease options, mm -hmm. HMOs, mm -hmm. single lets, mm -hmm. buy in Manchester, buy in Southampton, <laughs> yes. all of a sudden you, you, you scattergun approach. Yeah. And this is what I really love about what you've done. You have stayed fully focused on your primary strategy, which is commercial and developments. And then you've done a hybrid strategy with serviced accommodation being your 20%. So mindset, like you said, is really important. Yeah. And staying clear on your vision and having great mentors to help you. Yeah. What's been your second biggest challenge? Uh, environment. Um, Explain more to our Yeah, audience. environment means the way you live and who you uh, surround uh, with. So, you know, when you go uh, into the, your community, People, uh, when you talk about property, your uh, investment things, people don't understand. And they, there are lots of negative people as well. But when you are, uh, you know, in the SS for Life, we meet every month, uh, once, once in a month. And also we got closed a Facebook group and there is a support within the group. So that, that also helps. So time to time, I was defocused, you know. They, so many people contact me. Oh, mm -hmm. let's do joint venture. Let's do this, 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 and then some. Some, and then you, you you're giving them energy, yeah. but most of them are they just just sucking you dry. Yeah, they're just, just sucking you dry. They're, they're Freebie just, seekers. They're just yeah? trying to take yeah. the advantage of you, exactly. and then just uh, that's, that's the, the so. so yeah. So it's almost like the academy kept you on track, yeah. and then other people were trying to get you off track. Exactly. And yeah. this is the power, isn't it, of being yeah. mentored and being on the academy. Yeah. Challenge number three, what is it, Krishna? Challenge number three uh, for me is, uh, you know, um, staying in your why, you know. As, as, as a family member, there's always a challenge about managing your time. Mm. So I had an issue as well because I have, a, as I mentioned already, I got two children. Yeah. Sometimes you feel like a, it's a burden, like a having, being uh, a dad, you know. Yeah. Oh my God, I have to look after my... Change the nappy. Yeah, change the nappy, the and then at the same time have to talk to close the... Close deals. <laughs> close deals. Man. <laughs> All the agent, yeah. planning permission, yeah. oh my JV God. partners, oh. development funders, yeah. spinning all the plates. Yeah, yeah it's so, life, isn't it? Yeah, and it's then, life. so in that time you have to, like you said always, be in your... Uh, understand why you're doing it. And make the sacrifice, yeah. make the it's sacrifices. For, 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 yeah, it's for them anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. so that's and, the number two. And this is the thing about business and property. To get the result, you have to make the sacrifices. Exactly. You've got to roll your sleeve up. But you've rolled your sleeves up, yeah. you invested in yourself, you joined us, we've worked together very closely over the last year, and you've banged out two commercial deals, and um, something else you've just done recently as well. What, what's your third deal? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's a, it's a very nice property. A uh, friend of mine, uh, he is a bit far away from where I live. Uh, okay. In my, my gold mine area. area. And he got a six bedroom uh, house. And okay. then he said, okay, would you like to look after my house? So now I'm turning it to the uh, six bedroom service accommodation. Wow. And then uh, it, it's a, it's a, like a cash cow. Just a, Just cash, a cash cow. cow. Cash so, cow. so how, how much are you going to be paying, paying me mate to, take to take control, control of the property? Of the property. Uh, 1600 1600 And you've done your numbers. What are you expected to net? What's your expected net profit yeah, per it, month? Yeah. yeah, give or take. Normally in service accommodation, uh, December, January, February is the quiet month. Yeah. Uh, however, I did very good. Uh, I did over 4800 per month. 
Wow. Uh, so I did roughly a thousand pounds and then uh, without I'm doing anything because I got a team okay. so they look after wow, so nice. yeah even so I went to Nepal and then while they are still uh, yeah. making sure everything's all right now. Yeah. So you've really got a hands-free mm. leveraged development and serviced accommodation business that enables you to travel the world mm -hmm. you've got cash flow coming in mm -hmm. You've got equity in properties, and you're set to make really, really, really big lumps of cash, yeah? Are you proud of yourself? I am, yes. Yeah, I, I'm really proud of myself. Sometimes we forget what actually we achieve because uh, as an entrepreneur, we are, we are targeting to achieve very high. Yeah. And then you always um, want to achieve what your mentors have achieved, what your heroes have achieved. But when I looked at myself, uh, uh, my last year now, oh my God, this is this is amazing, yeah. Wow, that's so good. I'm, re I'm really, really proud of you and I know there's more to come. So tell our viewers, Krishna, what is next for you? Yeah, uh, my next project is to connect with my community and uh, grow together. That's my mission and I want to help um, all the people who want to be in property, who want to be in an entrepreneur journey. That's why I am offering people around uh, my area to start a property troop community that's the that's networking the networking event, networking event networking every event. month i'm running and i would like to invite uh, people like ryan gemonas to come and talk uh, to my community so they can also start in property zone because Anybody can start in the property zone, isn't it? Uh, yeah. land. That's, that's what I want to uh, yeah. pass. Is that like your big message? Yeah. That, that, that's anyone, right. anyone can start. doesn't matter, does yeah. it? Who you are, yes. where you're from. Yeah, no, um, yeah. Now, tell, tell our viewers how much joint venture finance you have raised, because you do no money down deals. You've used joint venture finance mm -hmm. to invest into these projects. Mm -hmm. And how much have you raised so far in joint venture finance? Yeah. Uh, 800,000 uh, plus uh, I have raised so far, yeah. Wow. And then uh, lots of, there are lots of people they want to do joint venture, but um, you know, sometimes they just suck your energy. So make sure you got the right uh, people who you want to go with, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Company is called Gurkhapreneur Limited, and my email is sajmanagement at gmail.com. My message to all the viewers who are watching uh, in a SS for Life or everyone that everything's possible if you make a choice and always go with the right mentor, right uh, team and, they're, they're, and, and no matter what, never give up and always ask for help because I did ask help and I get it. So ask for help. That's my message. Man. Awesome, yeah? Let's hug it out, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it is on to year two now. Thank you very much for tuning into this evening's episode of Success Sunday. And wow, what an interview that we have just had with Krishna. If you want to know how you can build a multi-million pound property business, if you want to get involved with commercial conversions, which is going to generate equity, big lumps of cash, and also cash flow, make sure you come and join me at one of my upper running events. Click the link in in the comments book your sponsored ticket right now and please come and hang out with me it's going to be great to connect i will give you the system you need in order to go out there and create wealth